Hey everybody, this is Allison with Southland Goldens for our week four video for our Linda and Tommy litter. The puppies are awake right now. Hopefully they'll stay awake for most of the video, but I can promise you that by the end of the video, they will be sound asleep. But this is where you guys get to start to see their little personalities come out, uh, their little temperaments, how they react with me, how they react with their litter mates. Of course, over the next two weeks before our picking process starts, you'll see a lot more of that. So we've got our boys, um, they've all got the ribbons on first off. The ribbons are because their coats are coming in right now and it's really hard to see their collars. So they don't normally have these ribbons. You'll see them scratching at them. They really don't like them. Um, but just wanna uh, point out who's who because some of them, you know, the pink and the red can be confusing. So this is Mr. Red right here. And then this is Miss Pink. I know that's hard to see in the camera. We got Mr. Black right here. And then this is Mr. Brown uh, that's running away from me over there. Um, but just wanted to, I'm gonna try to turn the ribbon so you guys can, can see who's who. We got purple, we got gray, yellow, blue over here who's trying to get a snack from Lamb Chop, but that's, you're not gonna get, be able to get anything to eat from, from Lamb Chop. Hello, green, hello, my little social butterfly. Hello. Um, trying to see, we got orange all the way over there. And I'm gonna just sit down so you guys can kind of see them. Whoop, if I don't sit on a puppy, that would be amazing. Um, see them interact with me. Hey, pink. Hey, green, always right beside me. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Look at that little face. Little chunky monkey. Yes. Um, but the puppies are doing great. Linda is doing really good, uh, as you can imagine. She gets a little tired of them now. As you can see, they're they're all over me. Hey, Miss Pink. Hey, Miss Pink. Come on, Mr. Brown. Well, Mr. Red, are you just gonna bark at me or do you wanna come play? You don't like that ribbon, do you? Come on. Oh, there you go. They are so fun right now. I mean, they're starting to play. They're playing with each other. You'll see them every now and then. They'll call at each other to kind of play with each other um super cute they're still they've got their their footing and starting to walk around really good uh, but everybody is doing really really good hey we'll start introducing a little bit of the what we call puppy mush um this week and it's just kind of start introducing them to eating um so that they will be completely weaned off their mom by the time they are six weeks old okay guys see you guys can see who are the first to approach me and who are the ones that kind of sit back and um you know observe from a distance a little bit miss purple you're normally a little bit more playful come on you want to come play red what do you got to say what do you got to say he's one of our playful boys okay. you'll see he'll start pulling it tail's just a wagon Hey, big guy. Hey, orange. Hey, orange. Um, a couple of things. If you've not already made your arrangement to pick up your puppy, um, look at this one. Who are you? Mr. Black? You got my puppy? If you haven't already made arrangements to pick up your puppy, um, or have flight arrangements, let's make sure we go ahead and get those booked. We are halfway to the four week mark to when these puppies are gonna be going home. So it is going to be here before we know it. I feel like I blinked in these guys were four weeks old. I know for you guys, it probably seems to be taking forever, um, but it feels like to me that these guys were just little bitty just the other day. Miss Purple, you are, you're cracking me up over here. And look at this guy. What are you trying to do? You can't decide if you wanna come get in my lap or not? Come on, Green, you can come on in my lap. Come on, big girl. Hey, big girl. He said, I just wanted to play. I don't want you to hold me. I want to play. Okay. Um, we're going to do the same thing we do every week. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to talk about their weight. Some of them have really taken off. And it's just because some are moving around a little bit more than others, starting to burn those calories. Yes, we are. I hear you. You just want all the attention. You get a little jealous that you got some siblings, don't you? Yes, you do. Are you getting jealous too, Pete? No, watch Red. He'll let me know that he doesn't like that I'm giving everybody else attention. Oh yeah, see, I can't stand it. I'm over here. 
I know I'm just rambling, guys. I want you to be able to see them um, interact with me, interact with each other, and, and see like Mr. Brown right here sitting back being our sweet little boy. Um, I know he just gets so mad, Mr. Red, that I got all these other puppies. Come here. Come here, big guy. Hey, is that all you want? Is that all you want? It's just for me to hold you. Hey. Hmm. Oh, Pink's getting jealous now. Are you getting jealous? Well, I need I need more arms. It's hard to hold ten at the same time. Yes, it is. Um, if you guys have any questions about the puppies, I'm happy to answer them. Um, I'm glad you're getting to see them awake because I can assure you, by the time this video is over, we will be sound asleep. A uh, couple of reminders: the um, the final puppy balance is due by the time they are six weeks old. Um, I will post the information of how we accept the payments for that on the blog. Uh, make sure we got our puppy food order. Say it all the time, but we just want to make sure that it is here. We don't want to swap foods and, and get everybody's stomach upset. If you have not ordered your puppy food and you have any questions about how to do that or where to order it from or what to order, let me know and I'm happy to answer it. Also, make sure we got our crate. Crate training is super I feel like it's super important as far as the potty training process goes. It makes the potty process, potty training process easier. Uh, so make sure we get our, our crate order. Um, look at Red, he's got his banana walk on. All right, I'm gonna get up and let you guys maybe see them play with each other for a minute. Mr. Red's got his toy. Oh, he had his toy. Now he's just gonna walk all over his brothers. We got Miss Yellow over there hanging out with the lamb chop. Make sure you get your lamb chop because they, they will more than likely use it. They're so used to sleeping on top of each other, which you'll probably see by the end of this video. And so we want to use that to kind of mimic how they will sleep those first couple days. It will cut down on the crying and the whining and, you know, the first, you know, their little separation from their litter mates and mom. All right, guys, y'all ready to go over all your weights and tell them how much we've grown this week? All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do the boys first, uh, just because we don't have as many boys. All right. So our biggest boy, and you'll see he's not the he's not up walking as well as the other ones, and it's just because he's a chunk. He's a little bit lazy. Um, he's four point two pounds. He's definitely our laid back boy. He's got a very light colored coat, um, almost white, very thick coat. Gonna be a really pretty boy. Uh, he's just lazy. He doesn't like to move around a whole lot. He kind of will go and get him a toy or get right up next to mama, and he's content right there. So this is Mr. Blue, our biggest boy. But by next week's video, he'll be running around just like the others. It happens all the time. We have one that just isn't as eager to get up and walk um, as their siblings are, and that would be Mr. Blue. Our big male, light-colored coat, 4.2 pounds. You want to go take a nap on the lamb shop? That's kind of where you like to sleep, isn't it? Oh, there you go, big guy. Mm -hmm. All right, next in size, our boys are all pretty close. Now, our girls are, we have some girls that are a good bit bigger than the others, but our boys are pretty close. Um, this is Mr. Black. Mr. Black is 4.1 pounds, so not too far away um, from big brother Mr. Blue. He's kind of middle of the pack. Um, he's pretty social. You saw him a Beginning right there, he was right up behind me, kind of pulling on my jacket and stuff. He's not our most outgoing male, um, right there in the middle, but very sweet, very social, not shy, loves people. Is going to be Mr. Black at 4.1. Oh God. And then we have a tie for our next two. So Mr. Brown, who was our petite little bitty guy, um, is kind of catching up with everybody. And our playful little social boy that just wants to be around me and wants all the attention, you saw him a minute ago, got super jealous that he has a bunch of other siblings, is Mr. Red. He's the same size as Mr. Brown, so we'll get to Mr. Brown in just a minute. He's 3.9 pounds, super playful, all over the place, big buddies with Miss Pink. Uh, they are very, very similar as far as their temperaments. And I just love to play and get to all the things. I like toys. Yes, I do. Whoever is my new 
Family, Mommy and Daddy, I want lots of toys. So this is Mr. Red, our playful, outgoing boy at 3.9 pounds. All right, over there. Yeah, this was our little guy. So I'm really starting to take off in size. Yes, I am. All right, so this is Mr. Brown, who's really come out of his shell a lot this week. He's gaining weight, catching up to his brothers, um, and he's really not as laid back. He's kind of middle of the pack. Um, I don't know if you guys remember last week, he was a little bit more observant. He would sit back and kind of watch everything, uh, but now he's really starting to take off. His little personality's coming out, um, super fun, kind of middle of the pack. Like I said, not our most outgoing like red, and not our most laid back like blue. Kind of right there in the middle. Him and Mr. Black are pretty similar. So this is Mr. Brown, 3.9. And over here, are, we got our, our two biggest puppies, Mr. Blue and Miss Yellow. That's about their uh, activity level. They're gonna play sitting down. Maybe that's why they're the biggest. You see everybody else is all up moving around and they're just content playing right there a little bit, taking their time. All right, I'll bring her back, Mr. Blue. All right, so this is Miss Yellow. She's huge. She has really gained a lot of weight this week. Um, just this, how she's, how she's taken off. Uh, she's 5.4 pounds, so really big, uh, by far our biggest puppy in this litter. Um, and it's just because she's pretty similar to Mr. Blue in the fact that she's content eating and just kind of observing and watching. Now she's still a puppy. She still has a little bit of a playful side to her, um, but she's kind of, you know, become a little bit more laid back, easy going girl. She was one of our most playful, but I think she's realized, I think I prefer to eat and just kind of hang out See, that's what I want to do. So this is Miss Yellow. She's got a very thick coat. Um, show them how you like to just relax. Look at this chunky face. Look at this chunky face. Oh. You probably fall asleep if I scratch your back. Oh, stretch. Oh, you gonna hold my hand? All right, so that's Miss Yellow. Well, Mr. Blue already fell asleep. I brought your playmate back. All right, guys. Next in size and a big jump as far as weight goes, we have Miss Green. Miss Green is, let's see, 4.5 pounds. Kind of our middle of the pack girl right now. Not as, you good? <laughs> Cameraman sneezed, so if it got a little shaky there, not my fault, it's his. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Miss Green's 4.5, uh, kind of middle of the pack, not our most outgoing, not our most laid back. Look at Miss Purple, she got on a running fit. Oh, she just slowed down. She was running circles over there. Anyways, sorry about that. I get distracted when I see them playing and they're super cute. Yes, it's hard not to get distracted. Uh, but this is Miss Green, really sweet girl. All right, Miss Purple, I was just talking about you. Come here. Hey. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. Hey. All right, so next we have Miss Purple, who's 4.4 pounds. She has a very light colored coat. Going to be a very pretty girl. Um, she's very playful, very outgoing. You guys missed it just a second ago. She was running circles. She likes to run around and get her exercise, that's for sure. Miss Pink, you jealous? I'm sorry, I'll get to you in a minute. So this is Miss Purple, our middle of the pack. <laughs> Very light colored coat. Mr. Red, you're gonna put a hole in my pants. Yes, you are. No, no. Okay, we got Miss Purple. Next, we have, I have to use my cheat sheet, guys. Sorry, that's why I'm looking over there. It's hard to remember their weights. I wish I was that good. I wish I could claim that I have the weights memorized, but I definitely do not. 
Um, this is Miss Pink, our social butterfly who loves people at four pounds on the dot. She, uh, she's very similar, like I said a minute ago, to Mr. Red. Um, as far as she just wants all the attention, loves all the toys, wants to play with all the kids, yes, and all the dogs. So this is Miss Pink at four pounds on the dot. Y'all having a staring contest over here? Y'all were just staring at each other. All right, next we have Miss Orange. Miss Orange is 3.9. She is our laid back girl. Um, not as laid back as Miss Gray, but definitely on the laid back side. Complete opposite temperament of Miss Pink. So this is Miss Orange, really sweet. But on the laid back side, let's see here. Yeah, I just want to be held. And they're still going through our socialization process. We're getting them used to all kinds of sounds being handled, running our fingers through their paws, through their gums, like we've been doing since they were itty bitty babies. And you can see that it does not bother them anymore. So. We're trimming their nails. They'll actually get a nail trim today. So they will be used to that as well. But you can see she is very relaxed and I'm putting her all over through her ears, through her paws. This is Miss Orange. Laid back girl. <laughs> Look at Miss Yellow. I thought she was almost asleep. All right, you know I haven't done you yet. You patiently waiting your turn. So I'm just patiently waiting my turn. One of the sweetest puppies <clears throat> is Miss Gray, a little bitty girl, 3.3. Um, she's just not as aggressive as getting to the milk bar as the others, uh, but she's still steadily gaining weight. Um, she is our petite. I think she's going to have more of a petite frame. Um, she's just very, very laid back, easy going, go with the flow girl. That is Miss Gray. Super duper sweet girl. Complete opposite of Miss Pink over there who is on the top of the, the pile with all of the boys. Well, there's Miss Yellow's getting in there. Hey, Mr. Red. I see you. This is Miss Gray. Look at these little eyes. Just staring up at me. Hey. Tell him, hey. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna sit back over here and see if any of them wanna come back over and see me. See who comes over here. I can assure you I'm gonna get pink and probably red. Oh, I got green. Hey, got pink. Hey, got Mr. Red. I see you, Pink. I got green. Nobody else? Come on. Who wants to come see me? Oh, here they come. Brown. I see you, Pink. Gray. Hey, Gray's just going to sit over here and be all sweet and patiently wait while you, Miss Pink and Mr. Red, want all the attention. I see you, Green. Hey. You're just, you're just the uh, star of the show today, aren't you, Mr. Red? You and Miss Pink. Anybody else want to come over here? Come on. I don't know if you can see. Uh, look at Graham just staring at me. Hey. Are you all starting to patiently wait? If you sit down, I'll catch you. Good. Sit down. There we go. All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer. I'm going to point everybody out again real fast. We got Mr. Brown right here, of course, Miss Pink, and of course, Mr. Red. We got Miss Gray, Miss Green, Miss Orange is sound asleep. And then over here in our little pile, we got Lamb Chop, <laughs> we got Miss Yellow, we got Mr. Black, Mr. Blue down on the bottom. Miss Gray is making a, a mattress out of Miss Purple, who is right underneath her. 
All right, guys. Well, this will wrap up our week four video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can see that their little uh, personalities and stuff are starting to become a lot more interesting and fun to watch. But we'll see you guys back here next week for our week five video.